All right, you guys, this brand just got serious. Yo, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. If you watch our channel a lot, you probably know what these are already. This is a brand new brand called Serious Player Only. This is their Player One, very Kobe inspired. Some people loved it, some people hated it. I've actually played in these a little bit and I think that they are an actual good shoe. The only thing that I really had a problem with was my toes right here. Felt like they were just getting pushed the whole time. It didn't really break in for me, so it was a little uncomfortable. But that's exactly where things are getting serious with the Serious Players Only brand because because everything that I complained about, they have fixed in multiple different iterations, which I think is just really cool. So this guy right here is just an upcoming colorway and everything like that. This is their Player One Plus. First off, they look a little bit different, not too different, but just enough to where it's like, oh, okay, they mess with things a little bit. It's not a straight up copy and paste. So yes, this did cost them as a brand a lot of money. So they redesigned some of the upper. They've even added support right here. So where it actually says the Player One Plus, like the, the model name, there's a TPU panel right there for extra reinforced in this forefoot area. Awesome. They've adjusted the lacing system. So instead of being traditional, it goes all the way down to the toe area. So you can really customize that fit. You can make it a little bit wider in the front if you have a wide forefoot. I think that's dope. And on top of that, one of the main things that I complained about their shoe was the outsole. Look at this thing. They changed the entire thing. I'm not saying that this is what's gonna be on these because it's not. They kept this original outsole, which might I add, works fantastically. Like this gripped the floor like nobody's business. I thought I was gonna pop my hip out again. But they switched up the outsole right here. It's a little bit thicker. You can actually feel it too, like without the drop-in. This one's hollow. Without the drop-in, it's much firmer in there. You can still fold it up, but that's normal for a drop-in midsole type of shoe. Like you can fold them all up, but you can feel how much sturdier this shoe is. I can't pop it like I could with the other one. It's also got thicker treads, so this one right here should work really well both indoor and outdoor, whereas that guy right there I would only use as an indoor shoe. But one of the best things that they've done is actually not redesign the sneaker for like a plus version. It's actually what they did that comes inside the sneaker. This is something that all of us that play basketball have ever wanted from the other brand. And that's options, baby. <gasps> So this guy right here came standard in the player one, which I thought was cool. It's uh, basically a drop in midsole. This is Evalon, which is basically EVA. EVA, for those of you guys who don't know, is Phylon. So Phylon is just what Nike's trademarked EVA, and they've used that name to kind of fool customers into thinking that they have something that's like really dope and proprietary when it's really just basic foam. These guys right here are using an EVA carrier and then underneath it, you actually have an additional two layers of cushioning. So you got this ETPU or PBAX style, you know, little placement right there, which is really cool. So you got additional impact protection right there. And then you've got this little dot area that I actually cannot remember what it's called, but it's basically like a little pour on pads. And then if you wanted something that's a little bit quicker, this is what they're calling their quick system. So this is just straight up Evalon. They call it Evalon light. It's definitely lighter than this one. It's because it doesn't have the extra pads in there and stuff like that, which obviously would increase the weight just a little bit not by much but just enough so this guy right here you can kind of think of as just their quicker play style insole or drop in midsole they do look almost exactly the same as far as like the cupping so that's where this area right here like mess with my toes a little bit this one does fit a little bit different so i don't know if they tweak things in that sense but it feels a little different it doesn't feel like it's pushing my foot all the way over which i did not like in the original however probably my favorite one that they've done is this strength system or their support system like look at this thing man this drink is a beefcake and on top of that all of the areas right here that were pushing like my other toes inward is just gone they removed it and they also widened this area out as well but it still fits in both of these shoes which i think is really cool so having these options is fantastic and what this drop in is is basically still an eva carrier but this one feels a little bit softer it does feel a little bit heavier obviously there's extra components to it one of which is this big ass tpu support wing like this thing is sick dude it also acts is kind of like a spring plate so you've got this four foot area right there so it's still flexible but it'll bounce right back in the shape it allows you to feel like you're propelling forward just a little bit and then they still have the additional pods that are on the original one so basically it's got everything in there plus some which is really really awesome and one last thing to note this guy right here has a molded arch into it whereas these ones do not so these are more of a neutral setup whereas this one you can feel a little bit of the arch in there it doesn't feel uncomfortable once you break in the material then it'll feel a little bit better it should mold to your foot a little bit more but just letting you know that this one has a more prominent arch than the rest now 
I don't know if all of these are available on their website right now, but we'll have a link that will be down below in the description box just in case you wanted to check anything out. This guy right here is the series player only game one, and this is a beefcake of a shoe man this thing is insane it's got all kinds of cool features on there from both of these shoes and then some so this is like an all-around sneaker you know what i mean and on top of that all of these drop-ins go in this too excellent these are all fully compatible sneakers you buy a sneaker from them and you buy all three of these and you can take those and put them in any of these shoes that you want at any time i can't even tell you how awesome that is i just even saying it out loud i'm like wow that's cool so this guy right here is uh built a little bit more tough and even this guy right here. They upgraded it even more. Like this tread is crazy. It's hella thick. It almost feels too thick. When we're talking about weight reduction, rubber is one of the first things that goes because it's basically the thing that makes the whole shoe bottom heavy. And they left most of it on there. It's a very thick, durable rubber. Uh, again, great for both indoors and outdoors. So if you wanted something that's good for both things, it's in there. They still have the carbon fiber plate just like both of these shoes do. The upper is exactly what you would expect. It's very similar to both of these shoes. It's just designed a little bit differently. So we've got a lot of textiles we've got a lot of tpus and plastics uh, it's a little hard to see because the shoe is all black so like you can't see all the detail in there but it's very similar they just don't have the additional knitted layer instead they have a little bit more of a tpu layer so the plastic stuff the very thin fuse looking stuff again this is supposed to be a durable shoe and it's supposed to be able to match the play style of any player whether you're a point guard all the way up to a center so it's got to have enough support in there for that but also be nimble enough for a smaller quicker guy and that's exactly what they've got here the collar is probably my favorite favorite performance feature very Jordan 13 and 14 like where it's asymmetrical it's a low on one side for full ankle mobility no restriction whatsoever and then on the medial side it's more of a mid top so you got a little bit of extra kind of like support there it's mostly for proprioception you feel that on that side of the ankle you feel more secure you feel more safe doesn't mean that you are doesn't mean that you're gonna be saved in case you step on somebody and you're gonna roll your ankle if you're gonna do that you're gonna roll your ankle anyways but it's there and I think it's really cool. It's one of, again, my favorite features is because I do like secure fit feeling like around everything, but I just prefer low tops because I don't want any restriction. This is the best of both. This colorway is not the best. This is just a sample. So this is not like anything crazy. I have seen some of their other stuff. They were kind enough to send me pictures of what they've got coming and it was really awesome. So for those of you guys that are like, yo, you were really harsh on these guys and stuff like that. I just want you to know that they reached out to me. I bought these myself and then they reached out and they were like, hey bro, thank you so much for the feedback we're gonna work on this stuff and then here's the proof it's awesome like this is cool this is exactly what you want a brand to do is to take your feedback and then implement it into their product that you are gonna buy that's the whole point right they want you to come and spend your money on their stuff they got to earn that and they're earning it even though I had already spent my money on them but still I was curious I can't help it so with all that being said thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support shout out to serious player only for being actually serious about players like the proof is in the pudding man like you can't even knock it at this point they're being for real i think that what they're doing is awesome uh, i hope to see more from them too like this i would like to see upgraded even more softer foams bouncier foams maybe a full etpu setup this thing right here is killer this is awesome so yeah shout out to you guys thank you for sending this stuff so i could check it out i really appreciate it and letting our audience see it kind of first and everything which is greatly appreciated from our end sound off below and let us know what you think about all of their models let us know what you think about the game one shoe about the player one plus i think this is my favorite i wish these were my size i wish those were my size too these are my size so I'll stick with these for now. But again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Sound off below. Let everybody know your feedback is actually being taken seriously by these guys. So if you played in the shoe and you have feedback, make sure that you leave them your thoughts down below in the comment section. That's what the community is all about. It's about helping everybody so that everybody wins. And with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. So until then, have a good one.